today what we what i have planned is like we have two visualization one is bar and candlestick chart and other one is floating bar chart and um, both of them just to, uh, it will be the showing year or year growth and we can analyze the trend between the years we will first try to understand the visualization then we'll move on to uh, how to make this so currently if you see we have category and region in view and uh, this is in sales and this on sales this pick the shows as uh, the difference like how how much the difference maybe if you want we can add the percentage in labels so we can be able to quantify like how the year over year growth in a particular region and category next we have floating bar chart here it's like uh, uh, the left most is like 2019 sales and the right most is 2020 sales and the length is nothing but the difference in sales and it's like Uh, by colored the green are the one which has uh, 2020 sales greater than 2019 and this blue are the one which has less sales compared to 2019 and these are the two stations i have for uh, we will just see how to make this one first we will start with the floating bar chart we calculate it first we want 2019 sales So, uh, Jairam, just uh, explain a little further. What is the goal that we have? You know, in terms of what we are trying to achieve. Just I think it needs to. So, so goal so, uh, here is like we are trying. Go ahead. So, goal here is trying to visual uh, visualize uh, the sales year by year, and we are also trying to add. the magnitude of difference in the view so here ah, okay. the goal is like uh, we are showing 29 sales in the uh, blue color and this one by rn and we are showing the difference here uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> got it and all the 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 yeah. difference uh, whatever the bars they are all of the same uh, width right or are there different is there any difference in the width Ah, yeah, with this same, the length uh, just says us about how different it is. Length is different, huh? And uh, where are we placing yeah. that? Yeah, uh, so for we each bar, hmm. we are always placing below, is it? For below both the bars. Yeah, below both the bars. Okay, got it, got it. For a particular category and region, yeah. Hmm. Okay, got it, got it. Okay. And this is what uh, furniture uh, region. Okay, so that's what you did. Okay. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, any other questions in terms of what um, we are supposed to achieve in the viz? Okay. All right. Uh, Jaram, please go ahead. Yeah. And in the next one here, like we have separate bars for 2019 and 2020, and they are just showing the difference separately. But if you see in the other one. the left end is like 2019 and the right end is 2020 and this length of the bar says about the difference and like we have separate bars here showing the difference and the two bars showing up 2019 and 2020 we have all a single for like 2019 sales on the left 2019 on the right and the difference is the how uh, difference is the sale year over year both this is okay so th- that's a that's a yeah that's a different visualization okay great okay awesome go ahead jara so we made 2019 sales as well. okay so now we got uh, two metrics 2020 sales and 2019 sales and one more thing for difference that's it. these three fields you can just make it Twenty twenty sales minus 
So the name Subject is uh, ca- cap- capital sen- uh, case sensitive, is it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, okay, okay, interesting. All right. Subcategory. In 2019 sales, we'll just try to find. Then we will replace the bar chart to bar chart. So now we got the 2019 sales in each. Then we will pull the difference and pull it in the size. Size. then difference color so based on the year over the year growth now it's just color the difference is greater than zero then uh, it's like showing orange if the sales is like less than previous year, it's showing the blue. This is a floating bar. Any doubts are showing on to the next one. Okay. So, here category. The same metrics which are we used at 2019 sales and 2020. 